What is going on, beautiful people? It is Bet Slam with Sam coming at you with another breakdown. This time we have Chidi and Jukuani taking on Reese McGee. Chidi and Jukuani is coming down from the middleweight division. He is dropping two 170 pounds here to take on Reese McGee. And Reese McGee is this is his second tenure inside of the UFC. I want to start by talking about Reese McGee. He came here to be fed to the wolves, both literally and metaphorically. Reese McGee came to be fed to the wolf. Hamza Chimaev, and he did get absolutely dominated by him. He then took on Alex Morono and lost that fight as well and was cut from the promotion. Fast forward three years, well, three and a half years now, and he was signed back to the UFC after winning three fights. He took on Ange Lusa in a fight where he got his face smashed in in round one. Round two became a little bit more competitive, and in round three, Reese McGee did start to take off with the fight, but it was too little too late when he was already down two rounds. Reese McKee eats damage in every single one of his fights. Even when I watch his regional tape, he often takes two punches to get one of his own off. He is big for the division at six foot two, but he's not incredibly powerful. He has good kickboxing and he gets back up off the ground pretty well, but he does get taken down with little effort. On the flip side, we got Chidi and Jukuani. He started the promotion by getting a lot of first round finishes. He then went on a three-fight skid, which is his current stature. He lost a split decision to Albert Duraev. He was finished in a fight against Gregory Robocop Rodriguez, where he did smash Robocop's face in and literally split the bridge of his nose and then still managed to lose in the second round. Similar story in the Michael Olenjacek fight. He did beat the shit out of Michael Olenjacek for four minutes of the first round and then eventually did get finished. Now, Chidi and Jukuani... He's better than these fights are showcasing, but he does have quit in him. When he gets put down in a dominant position, somebody gets on top of him, they're hammering away, he does seem to quit. Reese McGee has no quit in him. I don't think that Reese McGee is going to be able to weather the early storm of Chidi, though. I don't think that, even though, what was uh, Michael Bisping been calling him? The Irish Zombie, which is not his fight name. His fight name is Skeletor, because he's so long, pale, and thin. Now, Chidi and Jukawani is going to bring it. He is 35 years old, but he still bangs, and he bangs hard. Chidi Njokowani is going to bring everything he has, throw the kitchen sink at Reese McGee, and I don't think Reese is going to survive it. I will be betting round one KO Chidi Njokowani. I think that he will finish Reese McGee before Reese can find something to slow Chidi down with. And I think that at the middleweight division, the people are going to be more durable than Reese McGee is. Reese McGee was taking shots against Ange Lusa, but Ange Lusa is not as big as Chidi and Jukuani. If Chidi and Jukuani lands one of those knees or head kicks that he's been landing on his previous opponents and hurting them, he's going to put Reese McGee out and he's going to bust his face open. However, I may also put a hedge bet of Reese McGee by decision because I think that if he starts to get ahead, he won't finish Chidi because he's not as big as the others. And when I mean big, I mean like he's not as dense as the other people holding him down and smashing his face so i think that reese mckee could run away with the decision if he gets in on the gas late in rounds two and three but chidi and jukawani is going to be too big and too strong and he's going to beat reese mckee in round one so that's going to be my bet and i hope that the line's not too juiced if it's anything less than five to one or four to one in that round one i'm probably not going to bet it now if you did enjoy the breakdown don't forget to smash that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one